Held by retiring MP Desley Boyle since 1998, the seat of Cairns has been solidly Labor for about 100 years. This year, in what is sure to be one of the toughest fought contests of the state election, former journalist Gavin King is up against former councillor Kirsten Lucina, and the arrival of Catter's Australian party is sure to add a wild card to the mix. Cairns includes the CBD and Esplanade, and suburbs stretching all the way from Edge Hill to White Rock. Jobs, health, education, roads and waterfront development are big issues for voters in this electorate. I'm leaning towards Bob Catter. To be honest, I don't know. I just like, like some of the things he's come out and said. And I think how's this Gavin King? He's very honest and open and he's not, not afraid to have an opinion, really. Gavin King, because he's a straight speaker, he's a direct, answers the questions properly, he's a good strong voice. Um, and I think we need someone like that. And they all lie, they don't tell you the truth, and when they do promise you something, they don't usually do it anyway, so... Uh, LNP, Gavin King, yeah. I think they'll offer business in general uh, some encouragement to get on with things. Um, business is sadly lacking in that area at the moment. Bob Catter, um, he says some silly things sometimes, doesn't he? <laughs> but at least he speaks the truth. Mm, I've seen some, but I haven't decided who I'm going to vote for yet. I want to go Liberal, because I think uh, Labor has done enough to ruin Queensland and I don't know and then all this thing has come out about Campbell Newman as well and so you know food prices are going up and electricity is going up, water is going up so yeah it is really really hard. Gavin King because I think as a professional broadcaster he can bring those talents to the floor of parliament. I'm a left winger by nature but I just think some things need shaking up. Anyone even Labor or, or Liberal but it doesn't matter as long as they help on the issues of community. Well, the one that's already in, in power at the moment, you know, she's she's um, she's the one to go for. Yeah, she's done she's done well for the people of Cairns, you know, um, and and that's what I feel about it. And I think a lot of people in Cairns feel the same way. 